So in this video, we're going to divide 1 by 7, and it's a bit of work. If you want to do the fraction, that's not a big deal. It's just 1 divided by 7, or 1 7th. But if you want the decimal, well, it's a little bit more work for that. Let's do it, though. Give ourselves some room here. So we have 1, and we want to know how many times 7 goes into 1. And we're actually going to need to extend this a little bit. <laughs> All right, 7 doesn't go into 1, but if we put a 0 and a decimal point here, we can call this 10. 1 times 7, that's 7. We subtract, we get 3. doesn't go into 3, but we move over 1. Call this 30. 7 times 4, that's 28. All right, subtract, we get 2. Move over 1, so we can call this 20. 7 times 3 is 21. That's too much, so 2. So 2 times 7, that's 14. And we subtract and get 6. Move over 1, call it 60. 7 times 9, that's 63. 7 times 8, that's 56. That works. We subtract and we get 4. All right. Doesn't go into 4. Call it 40. Move over 1. 7 times 5, that's 35. Subtract, move over, we get 5. And we're going to call it 50. 7 times 7. We need to move this over here a little more. 7 times 7 is 49. And I need to shrink this down now. So we get 49, and we subtract, we get 1. And actually, at this point, we call it 10. 7 goes into 10 one time, and we're starting the fraction over. So this whole thing here, actually, it repeats. It keeps repeating as we divide 1 by 7. So we end up with 0 0.142857. Seven, and then that starts over, just keeps repeating again. You could round this to 0 0.143 or 0 0.1429, but when we divide 1 by 7, the fraction, 1 7th, and the decimal, 0 0.142857, which then repeats. That's it. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.